Three weeks after announcing that he bought the GM plant, Paul Elia was back in Shreveport at Commissioner Ken Epperson's annual meeting to let the public know his plans for the plant. Paul is in, in and out of town, you know, checking with investments, uh, working on the bill and things of that nature. We, we, we're constantly in contact. We got all contact information with him. So it's not nothing we just put on the table and forgot about it. But we are constantly working right alongside it. And Elio came bearing good news for many of the area's residents who are out of work. The facility's nice and having all the equipment in place is nice, but what's more important is the folks. The gates at the old GM plant are still locked, but in the not too distant future, Elio Motors will have a minimum of 1,500 employees working here, with special priority given to one special group. And we really want to utilize what Louisiana and Cato Parish already have in place for hiring and, and help, especially helping us go out and find like you know previous GM workers. So we don't we don't want to um, build new resources for things that already exist. There's probably several thousand people who know how to build vehicles who need a job, and so that it just makes sense. Why why would you go to somebody new if you got you know? Uh, a huge pool of folks who know how to do it. With the first of these unique cars expected to roll off the line on June 14, 2014, Elio expects hiring to start in about 14 months. In Caddo Parish, Annie Anderson, Fox 33 News, Arklatex.